was a Friday. And the reason why I know this is because we were scheduled to run the interview on 106 KML. And we were going to run this special, Tupac special. He died on the 13th, but he was shot days prior. So if you recall, he was, you know, in the hospital and we heard a lung collapse. Then we heard he wasn't going to make it. Then we heard, nah, he's still with us. You know, Pac, he's strong. We thought he, everybody thought he was going to make it. We knew he'd be damaged, but we, we were for certain, oh, he's going to pull through. That's Pac, man. It's Pac. Come on, man. Dude already been shot. He walked out the hospital. That's Pac, man. He's our hero. Pac was an action figure to young black men coming out of the bay. I was at the radio station. You know, we were prepping the show, I believe, and uh, found out that he passed away. And uh, it, it, it was like uh, a black cloud that weighed like a quilt that and it was smothering. It was like humidity everywhere. And I just start playing back the hands of time, like trying to reverse time. Like, wait, hold on, this, this, this can't be right. No, 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 hold up, it's gonna be better after. You know how you think, oh, it's gonna be better. Give me a second, let me think about this. It's gonna be better, he's not, this is. And every time I open my eyes, it's like, nah, this is, nothing's changed. And he died? What do you mean he died? We ran the show that night, or that interview. And so that interview became you know, just a collector's item, you know, and that's one of the reasons why I never listened to it from beginning to end. I never listened to it. Like, I couldn't sit and listen to it. We played clips before. When we played the clips, I turned it down. I, it's hard to hear my voice next to his like that and remembering, like yesterday, what his energy was like. This was a man full of a ton of, he had so much energy, so much charisma. He cared so much about people. You know, he had a flip side to him too. He played hard, you know, he worked hard, he played hard. He got to experience things. I think he wanted us to live vicariously through him. It's hard to be the top of the food chain, you know, when you're in the rap game and music business. He was a brilliant, brilliant person. The fact that 20 years later, we talk about him like it just happened. And you can look at me with sad, looking at me sad as 20 years later can, is uh, indicative of the, uh, the mark the impression he left on our lives. The music from Tupac to now is just, it's changed. Um, what happened to the music of stories, storytelling, and Tupac was the one to tell stories in music and hip hop today. I love you Tupac, and I miss you very much. Tupac is, you know, to me, the greatest, greatest MC and poet I've ever heard. It was, it was an honor to have an opportunity to, to really go just purchase his CDs, you know, growing when up. When we're talking Tupac, I really don't even know where to start. And you're talking about albums like like um, All Eyes On Me, the double album, you just hit, you press play, the Machiavelli album, right? Hail Mary, when you hear, when you heard Hail Mary for the first time, it meant something. You weren't just listening to it. Pac was talking Pac to will forever be one of my favorite artists of all time. Now, how Kanye compared uh, clothing, he said, is it Ralph, bro? It's like, is it Tupac, bro? Is it that hot? Does it make you feel like how Tupac music make you feel? If not, it's not hot. That set like a bar for me of what I expect of an artist is to be that well-rounded and, and, and able to talk about anything. Dude's gonna live forever, man, on my turntables. That's because of who he was and what he stood for and what he said and how he made you feel. That's why Pac is your favorite artist. And one of mine too.